What's good, YouTube family? I hope that y'all are having an amazing day. As y'all seen in the caption, we're cutting it. We're cutting his dreads off, so that's what I'm beginning to do. He wanted a really low cut, and he knew that he was gonna have to because he just retwisted his dreads recently. So when you cut dreads, you have to cut them like where the hair is loose, where there's new growth, and you want to cut them like depending on what the client wants. Obviously, he knew he wanted a low cut. He just got his dreads retwisted, so that's what I'm doing. I'm pulling it up and I'm cutting it as low as I can, but also he wanted a low cut because you see how far back his hair is in the front, like how far back the lineup section was. And um, he's going for a new look. He wants to have curls all around. So basically he wants curls with a taper. So he wants like his hair to be even all around. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going and I'm picking up, I'm picking the hair out and then I'm combing the hair through. Uh, just to make it lift up off the scalp and I'm going in with the number one guard and I'm making sure that I cut in the pattern of this hair grows and I'm just keeping everything consistent and y'all see how I have my comb in my hand still and I'm still combing this hair as I'm cutting because I want to make sure I want to ensure that everything is one desired length and that's what's going to help me is to make sure that I'm lifting the hair up off the scalp and that I'm going over it consistently then after I did that I went ahead and I washed this hair um, I brushed it in the pattern that his hair grows and put him under the dryer and now we're doing a low taper so I'm gonna bottom out at like the top of his ear and um he didn't want me to touch his facial hair so usually I would either cut it off or the last couple of times we've been lining it up but he just wanted to let it rock out today so don't try to say nothing about that For the back part of the tape, y'all, I'm just gonna put it straight across his head and make sure that I have it nice and clean. Make sure that the line is even, cause this is a foundation to fade. This is what this is where your fading process, not where your fading process starts, but that's gonna determine how clean of a fade you get. So I'm doing something a little bit different, y'all. I, I got bored, so I like to switch up my technique sometimes. So in this video, I'm gonna be doing a lineup first, and then I'm gonna do the taper after. So when you're doing this ear lineup. You want to make sure that you don't push it back. You can see how light his hair is. A lot of people would have pushed this back above his ear, but y'all can see as I'm going over it, how it, it filled in. It's like, you don't have to, you, it don't have to be super dark for, for hair to fill in. There's hair there, you just got to tap it in and go over it consistently. And you want to get it as natural, you want to keep it as natural as possible, but also get it as crispy as possible. So that's where just going over and being consistent, that's where that plays a factor. And y'all can see, I put on my slant and then when I get to like the top of the ear, to do like the arch shape, I use the last couple teeth of my blade, or the corner of my blade, and I just make the arch shape around the ear using the corner or the last couple teeth of my blade. Right here y'all, I'm putting in some Tresemme hairspray. Then I'm gonna take a neck strip, I spray it on the neck strip, and then I wipe the front hairline down. Then I'm gonna take a, bl a, cold, a blow dryer on cold, and I'm gonna go over it while also rubbing my hand um, on the hairline, as you'll see right here. And I'm just ensuring that everything's gonna be laying down in the right pattern. And making sure that all the hairs are laid so that when I line them up, it's gonna be as clean as possible, and it's gonna last the longest. So right here, y'all, when I do my front lineup, when I do my lineups, I like to start in the front. I like to work my way to the side. Once the front meets the side, I tap in the vertical bar. And then after that, I do the C cup. So y'all can see, I'm just, I'm not pushing it back. I'm keeping it natural. And, but I'm also getting it crispy. We, like I said, we doing natural and crispy as possible. That's what's gonna give the client the longest lasting cut possible. And the most natural, the most natural, crispy, long lasting cut possible which is the best cut possible. And right here, y'all, I'm tapping in the vertical bar. And um, y'all can see how the angle that I do it at. So then I'm just matching the other side. So now I'm starting in the middle and I'm doing the same exact thing, just rinse and repeat and doing it to the other side. And right here, I the reason that I didn't um, do the vertical bar first, and I went ahead, or the reason I didn't do the C cut first, and I went ahead and did just a front lineup and the vertical bar, is so I could make sure that his um, C cups were even because this side of the C cup, I ended up doing this side first because this side was naturally higher. So I'm gonna have to 
through this side and then I might have to go to the other side and match it up because the other side grows down lower than this side does and some clients it just happens to have it just like happens like that so you just got to be cosmetic in situations like that and make sure that, that you even them out and make them match make everything symmetrical so with the with the C cup y'all you have seen I planted it in and then I I plant it in at the bottom of the vertical bar and then I go to the bottom of the C cup and then I meet them in the middle so y'all can say y'all can see this thing crispy already his hair is really easy to fade he has like really thin hair honestly um, so I start with my blade open on my Andis Masters and I go up like a full inch then I'm gonna close the lever halfway, go halfway up the guideline, close the lever all the way, and tap the bottom of the guideline. I get the line out completely. And I believe that before you put a, before you do like any clip over comb, like just with the blade open, is the most important. From the blade open and closed, is the, before you put a guard on or use your comb to do clip over comb, whatever. I believe that's the most important part of the fade because that's the foundation of your fade. That's gonna determine how uh, smooth of a fade that you can get. So make sure that you take your time in that in that section in that area because like I said that's the foundation that's gonna set the tone for how clean of a fade that you can get. Y'all can see that this thing blended out already. Alright y'all, so now I'm gonna be doing detail work. So for those of y'all who don't know, when you use a comb, when you use a small side of the comb, it's like using a half guard or a zero guard. And when you use the big side of the comb, it's like using a one and a half guard. Also don't forget that you can still open and close your lever when need be to pick out dark spots and bring them to the light and to make the fade as smooth as possible. I'm doing the same rinse repeat, doing the same steps on the back, except I'm gonna use a guard for the one. And uh, it's just gonna be open halfway and closed and then detail work. And you already know what I like to get into on this side, so let's go ahead and tap into the message. My message for today, y'all, I'm gonna give y'all some verses. So this is John 3, verses three through eight. It says, Jesus answered and said to him, most assuredly I say to you, Unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb to be born? Jesus answered, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born of water and the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not marvel that I say to you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from. And where it goes so is everyone who is born of the spirit the next verses that i have for you are romans 8 verses 9 and 10 but ye but you are not in the flesh but in the spirit if indeed the spirit of god dwells in you now if anyone does not have the spirit of christ he is not his and if christ is in you the body is dead because of sin but the spirit is life because of righteousness this is the part that people get confused about this is why i say don't confuse don't complicate god it's not complicated at all how do you get born again this next, these next couple verses is exactly how you do it. The verses are Romans 10 verses 9 and 10. And it says that if you confess with your mouth to the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So you're believing for right standing with God through Jesus Christ and with your mouth you're confessing. You're confessing Jesus as Lord which results in your salvation because you, of you believing that he died on the cross for you and that God raised him from the dead on the third day that's my message for today man I hope that y'all took something from it and I hope that when I give y'all these scriptures that y'all go read it for yourself because that's what's really important for you to know you have to for you to know God and to know his will you have to know his word so make sure that you're doing your studying that when when me or anybody any other person in the world tells you the Bible says this or that make sure that you can go find it in the Bible for yourself so I don't just give you these scriptures just to give them to you. I mean, yeah, I want you to hear them from me, but I also want you to go look for yourself because that's what's important. That's how you're going to build your relationship with God. Y'all can see his lineup is crispy without anything. We didn't need any enhancements, but he chopped his dreads off. So why not? You know what I'm saying? He ain't never got enhancements coming to me before, but, um, you know, why not? Why not add him in there, bro? We did a dread trap. Go ahead, do something. You just did something that you never done before. Do it again. It's for the better. You know what I'm saying? So, 
it made a pop. Y'all know I don't like to do too much when I do a hand swing. Y'all can see I'm barely spraying. He didn't really need it anyway. If anything, it just did exactly what it's supposed to do. Enhance the cut. And then I'm going to add some uh, fibers on top of it. And y'all can see, like, it's messy when I put them on. Because I don't really, like, I, I comb them in a lot after I put them on. So... It's like, for me, it don't really matter how I put it on. Because I'm going to know I'm going to comb through it and then spread them out and take out what I need to take out anyway. If y'all was able to sit through this 11 minute video of me, I truly appreciate every single one of y'all. Every single one of y'all. If y'all came just because you like watching barber videos because of satisfying, I hope this satisfied you. Y'all can see that I had the clothes on. If y'all want to go stop and pause on that, y'all can see my, my brand. You can see my logo, Always Advanced Clothing. Um, yeah, but I hope it satisfied you if you just came to watch a barber video. Um, if you came to learn something, I hope that you learn something, take something from my game, apply it to yours, advance in your career and your craft in your life. Let me know how you think about how this cut turned out. I think it turned out fire. The taper butter, the lineup extra crispy. Um, you know what I'm saying? Give my boy a super transformation. Go ahead, y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe so that I can continue to reach new people and grow and use my gifts and abilities to glorify God and to spread the gospel. Hope to see you back on the next video. May God bless.